Well, here we are on day one of cereals and uh, found this really interesting demonstration all about rooting and I uh, thought it might be quite interesting. This is the route from uh, kind of West of Waldcombe, uh, which is like an annual ryegrass, West of Wold. So we've got something like that actually planted on the farm at the moment. Fantastic cover, great rooting, grows like mad, loves to be cut sort of a ryegrass. Here we've got some bristle oats, uh, which I've not heard of before, but again, really good uh, level of rooting there, which is quite impressive. Over here we've got the old phacelia. Uh, we've got plenty of that on the farm. And I haven't really seen too much of their roots. Whenever I've pulled them up at home, uh, the sort of root seems to have just broken off. So that's a really de interesting demonstration. For the rape, got plenty of that on the farm as well. A nice big tap root going down through there. Lots of little fibrous roots as well. So that's, uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, field P, again, one massive tap root. Um, can't see too much nodulation on there, but maybe that's something to do with the uh, lack of uh, um, inoculum in the soil, potentially. Uh, common vetch. Look at the amount of root grown there for just a tiny little bit above ground. So you can see where it's putting its energy. Again, not much nodulation going on in the vetch. And um, sunflower, look at that stunning amount of roots in there. If I just ease back a little bit here, you can just give an idea as to how tall the plant is. That's probably two feet tall. Um, and the roots are absolutely staggering, growing like mad. So that would make really, really good uh, uh, sort of soil conditioner, compaction busting crop, and, and also really handy for planting into uh, for a following crop with all that root structure already in there. White mustard, again, fantastic tap root. Uh, that's going all the way down. Not much um, sort of lateral fibrous rooting in there at all. So, but that might be quite good in a sort of a mixed cover crop. Um, what do we got here? Niger, not really seen that, but that's probably the most aggressive uh, tap root and volume. Again, I'm not really quite sure how long it's been uh, planted, but it can't have been that long looking at the, uh, the looking at the above ground crop. Here we go, deep till radish. This is something I'm really interested in. Um, on the picture there, it seems to have one big massive tap root, but on here, it's got a whole load of smaller ones. So not quite sure what's going on with that, but Again, that would be some pretty powerful rooting uh, going on there. Here we've got oil radish. That's something that we might be trying later on up on the hill. Um, can feed the sheep on the top bit. Um, leave that remaining in the ground. Nice big, uh, nice big root there, doing a cracking job. And then we have here some lupins. So again, that's a really good root as well. Um, not quite sure about the nodulation, but that might be some nodulation just going on around there. And uh, yeah, all something to have a look at and something to try in future cover crops.